In this video, I want to go over a quick tutorial about how I write my weekly content for Twitter, LinkedIn, threads, even Instagram. If you copy paste the text over to an image and post it on Instagram, I like writing. That's what Cortex does best is for writing. But even if you're writing real scripts or TikTok scripts or YouTube short scripts or even YouTube videos, this can also help you because writing them out first helps them be more effective, right? You don't just want to go into it blindly. Since content ideas are a big problem for most people, they just run out of ideas, they don't know what to write about, they don't know how to write, that's what this video is for. So we're going to dive into a Cortex template that you can download via the link in the description. We're going to go over that and I'll show you exactly how to use everything because you can use this every single week and keep all of your content in one place. So diving into Cortex, this is what the template looks like. It is fairly straightforward where we have elements here. These are called elements in Cortex. We have a connections element, batch of posts element, thread elements. So if you are creating on something like Instagram, you need carousels. Or uh, if you're on X or threads, of course, that a thread is you have a main tweet and then you have replies under it. So if you want to write two threads a week, that's how you can do it here. And you can see batch of posts, Wednesday, batch of posts, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then newsletter, you can choose a day for that specific thing. So running through what we do here, first, you link your connections in a specific place. And these can be anything, your main ideas, your newsletter, your notes. I'll go over an example for this soon. But then everything else looks like this, where you have the name up here, Monday. You write your post here. I have a reminder so that you remember to promote your email list or your product or your lead magnet or whatever it is, whatever it is that you sell in order to earn an income as a creator or content creator whatever you want to promote here. You have a call to action, right? That you're plugging under your posts. You can delete this if you don't want to do that. So then you would just have the, uh, the posts. So you can write three posts here. And then for threads, it's very similar where you list out topics that you want to write about. You map out key points for that thing. You add connections and tags. If you want to organize it further, you write your hook in the hook element, and then you continue writing posts as they go down. And if you want to continue writing, you can click this, duplicate this element so that it creates another one. And then you can add a call to action or, uh, and then thank them for reading. So if you've ever seen threads on Twitter, then you know what this is, where you ask them to share the first post. Now you can do this for all posts, right? And we'll run through an example of this really quick and how you can replicate it. So I'm going to collapse all of these. And what we want to do before this, just to keep things organized and how I structure things so this makes sense, is we're going to create a new document, but this is going to act as a folder. So here I'm going to name this social content example. Now under that, we're going to drag the weekly post template that you duplicated so that it's sitting under there. Now, the way that I like to structure it is I'll create another document inside of here and I'll call this something like December 2024 posts, just quite, I can find it pretty easily. Now, every week, what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate this weekly post template by right clicking duplicate until we have the snippets feature in Cortex. So you can just automatically add all of the templates, but then you drag this under December. You're going to rename this December. Uh, I say W1 for week one. Let's say 2024 W1 posts. That way it's very easy to find. And I can just search December 2020, <laughs> week one posts. Now, if we go down further, the reason I set it up this way is because you can duplicate this every week. You want to create content, drag it in there, and then you can create and organize by months so that it's very clean. And you just have a social content folder with all of your content inside of there. Now, for an example, and why this is important, I have my own social content folder here. And when I click on this, what happens here in the document properties, you see my sub documents, so I can navigate to them pretty quickly here if I want to, but you also see my captures. So if I'm on my phone or I have an idea or I just have inspiration that I want to write about for my social content, this is where I capture my ideas. This is extremely important because this is how you write content. You, if you struggle to just sit down and write, 
It's because you don't have any ideas there for you and you need to walk. You need to go on a walk. You need to have better conversations. You need to capture the ideas in your phone so you have a bank of them to write about right here. The importance of this, I'll show you soon, is that I can open this in a pane to reference. But if I want to capture ideas here, there's two ways I can do it. On my phone, I would go to capture and then I would type in something or I would type in at social content that way it's connected to this page so that I can find those ideas, right? And when I hit send, it filters for all my social content ideas. Now I'll show you why this is important because when we go here to my example of week three posts, you can see that here's how I structured things. So I have exactly what I showed in the template where I have my main ideas and I link my master swipe file, my personal master swipe file. You can link those by typing at and then whatever your master swipe file is, right? I'll add my idea museum that I also uh, give out for free. You can find the link to that in the description if you want to use it. But then anytime you're writing content, you just come up here, you click this, and then you can open it. And if you have a swipe file of ideas, you can go into here and see those specific tweets and other things of that nature. See, I have a bunch of tweets in here that I can use for inspiration as I write. So when I'm down writing my posts for the week, I can have everything just open. I can look at this, okay, think of an idea, write it out here, so on and so forth. And that's just for the main ideas, right? If you want some inspiration in my master swipe file, I have quite a few things. I have my tribe of mentors, old content, I save everything in my cortex for this reason because it's a database of ideas. I have a thread swipe file where I occasionally add images and threads that I uh, enjoyed the hook of so I can take inspiration from the hook. It's just useful to have all of these things here. Now, the next thing that I link is my newsletter for the week. So if you're following any kind of content structure that I use, I write posts every day threads occasionally, maybe one or two times a week, and then a newsletter every Saturday. And so every day or every week, I both outline my weekly posts like this and my weekly newsletter, which we'll go over in another video. So subscribe for that, or you can join the Discord community and take the second brain course. And there's also a newsletter template in there. So <laughs> lots of stuff you can download for free, especially the Cortex app. Now, Going even further, I have specific notes that I can list here that I've written before. And if you need help with notes, then uh, again, take the second brain course in the Discord community. But this just gives me ideas. I, I just look through my notes inside of here every week. I link three or four that I want to talk about, and then I can just open them and look at these things while I write. And there's a few, oh, this is an old note. But you can see here that I have even more connections in here because I maintain my second brain. So by linking this and going to it, I can look at this one as well. I can watch this embedded video. I can pull ideas from the notes that I have and use them for my specific content. Now, going even further, you can add sources. So this is actually relatively new to Cortex, but if you are integrated with Readwise, you have all of your highlights inside of here, right? From Kindle, from anywhere on the web. So I can look through here and see, okay, I kind of want to write about uh, masculinity or spirituality this week. So I'm going to at David Data, link him here. That way I can just directly open this, look at his quotes that I've highlighted from him and use these as more idea generation. This is the power of Cortex so far is that there aren't any like really any other apps that allow you to uh, open all of these things at once and just navigate through these things so easily to find specific types of content. I can even have my captures open right here. Uh, it's not attached to that one, but if we go to social content, you can see all of my captures here. The other thing is that if I open the social content folder, you can see that my captures are also listed here and I can just scroll through them. That's why we capture to that specific document. So that's most of the content creation 
that that's how you do it, right? You flood your mind with great writing and you have it all there to reference as you're writing and you blend these things together. And when the AI features drop relatively soon, very soon, actually, you'll be able to speak to AI, ask it for content ideas based off of everything that you have in your brain, be able to speak to specific documents and say, hey, uh, write a post on about this document right here, the greatest skill of the 21st century. Give me five post ideas. Then I can have that open in a side pane and I can start writing. Now, when I write specifically, uh, this is tailored to my process, right? So on Monday, I promote my product. On Tuesday, I promote something different. Thursday, so on and so forth. Now, what I do is I write these inside of a code block. So if I wanted to create that, uh, you type, you can either type slash code or you can type asterisk, 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 and then space. That's just how you type, that's how you create a code block. The reason I do that is because it's a lot easier to copy and paste this without ruining the formatting over to Twitter, threads, a, a scheduler, whatever it may be, until we eventually decide to create a scheduling tool inside of Cortex as well. Long time for that. That'll take a long time. But I also add a tag so that at the top of the post so that I'm able to find these things later just so I'm, I can organize on a more granular level rather than just uh, week three posts, right? And all of these have these specific tags in here. So when I click on these, I can see, okay, maybe I want to write more about skill acquisition. So I'm going to uh, open this one in the side pane and pull ideas from this using command enter when you're looking at that. Inside, I also have a caption rather than a call to action for something like a long caption on LinkedIn for this specific post. And then if we look at my threads, I write them in a very similar way. So I write out the topics, key points, uh, research specific to that thing, a specific note that I can reference as I'm writing. And then I write my hook, write the posts for the thread, so on and so forth fairly simple. Now, the last thing that we didn't cover is just the newsletter, right? So all I do here is I just link it. I link the newsletter that you make or that I made just so it's easy to reference when I'm going through my specific content and it's connected, right? Uh, if you were to do that in the folder that you created with the post template that you made, you can see here that it has instructions. So if you don't have a newsletter template, again, take the second brain course or wait for another video on this Cortex channel to go out, but you can change the name here. I send mine on Saturdays, and then you can drag this up and under here. So that's it. That's my content creation template. I hope it brings some clarity to your writing, but in a nutshell, to go over everything we just did, we have a template with elements inside of Cortex, then we capture ideas in capture to that specific document so that they're organized. Then when you're writing the content, you have that in the main pane, you open your captures, you start writing ideas, you open your notes, you open your master swipe file, everything like that, and so on and so forth. And you have all of these ideas to write in one place. So if you like that, of course, try out Cortex. All the links are in the description. Stay tuned for more videos on this, especially as new features get released. We have a lot of cool things coming like uh, a better library feature in the mobile app, voice transcription, AI features, public roadmap is also in Discord. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful. Good luck writing content. Bye.